Hey everybody, Nerd365, and I'm back with you guys with another video. In this video, I'm going to do something a little different than what I normally do. Instead of playing a game that I'm normally used to, I'm going to play a game that I have never played before. Okay, we're just going to get into this. I'm not going to drag on, and I'm not going to kill you guys' ear like that, okay? We're going to play a new game here. Now, here we go with the first screen. Now, we have here the external bay, which says that's the turret shop. We have the internal bay for ship upgrades. We have the bar for side quests. We have our stats and we have our eject button to get the HE double hockey sticks up out of the game. So what we're gonna do is we'll probably play the first two planets. So I'll probably make three videos and we'll just do, we'll just, we'll just get in here, man. We'll just get, uh, okay. Sorry guys, I had a little, that was a little spur of the moment. Okay, let's try this out. So it says shoot, scout, small ship, projectile, okay. So, let's do some shooting with our main gun here, which is all we have for right now. So, let's see how it works out for us. Okay, so, we're so good. So far, no problem. Okay, let's, let's not waste no ammo. I guess it's kind of pointless to keep shooting when there's no enemies there, right? It's kind of, I don't know if I waste ammo, like it doesn't, oh, what's that? There we go, looks like some coins or something. All right, now we have a, we have more enemies coming now. Uh, the thing I see that's weird about this game is the pop-ups. Like, why would you put the pop-ups right there? It really interferes with the, it really interferes with the game to me. Like, I can't read that plus pay attention to the ships. You know, I really want to be, I'd rather be into the game than trying to read stuff that's popping up on my screen over there that I don't know if it was important or not because I, I wasn't able to read it fast enough. Okay, that says bomber. It says it has a shield. Okay. Boom. We got some more coinage. Okay, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Looks like we got something a little better now. Oh, we're taking hits. We're taking hits over here. We're taking hits. Get that ship. Okay. I'm gonna try to clear the space. They're starting to come in here real deep on us. They're starting to come in here real deep. Come on, man. You guys won't even invited to the party. Get off of me. Come on, come on. All right. Let's see if we can make it through this first planet with just this gun. I seriously doubt it though, we are taking hits. I'm already, looks like I'm red in the, I'm already red in one spot on my ship. If I keep taking too many hits, it says a big ship is approaching, it looks like. Big ship, with two turrets, and a shield. Uh, okay. I read that fast enough. I guess with the different colors more, oh, come on. I would've liked to have my better guns. Just, oh, there with my turrets. I'm done, guys. I'm done. Well, we made it to the first ship. I call that a good thing. Let's try to put some upgrades on the ship and come back and we'll try it again. Now, in this actual game, I mean, excuse me. In this game, you do not move your ship. Your ship just sails along and you pretty much have to just control your turrets. But we're, okay, we did something here. Let's claim some rewards and get some loot. We can use this loot to try some upgrades here let's see here we got the external bay um, I would really like a gun in this front area let's see a beam RPG a laser I say a beam a beam sounds like it would be something that would go right there it's not like it would just fit right there and let's do something like an RPG and maybe an RPG something like that and then we'll back out we'll go into the internal bay and see if we can change some stuff here. Like, let's, let's do the engine speed. I think the engine speed would be something good to work on. So that way the ship can move down a little faster, hopefully, so. Okay, can't do none of that, can't do none of that. We have six in money left. Uh, that's a negative 10 for the, oh, we can't do that. Oh, it's just 20. I don't have any aluminum. Okay, we don't have any aluminum, so we gotta go get some aluminum. So we have money, we have aluminum, and I don't know what that uh, other symbol is. Okay, we got some gold and some aluminum coming right there. 
Okay. Well, let's go and try to make some more. And try to get some upgrades. Got a scout ship coming. Okay, I see the stuff in, like, pink. I really noticed. I think the stuff in green is just, like, them talking, basically. But I, I think that could have been probably done a different way. But, uh, you know, what do I know? I'm, I, don't, I don't make video games for a living. But, I, but out of all the games I've played, I, I think that could have been handled a little better. I mean, I think with, like, the screen area down here, you could have probably put it there. Oh, let me get this done. Okay. I think putting it lower would have been... Or, or higher up on top of the screen. You have a lot of space up there as well. Probably the upper right corner probably would have been good. Kind of, if you would have made it like not so big, maybe I don't know. Come on, get it. Yeah, we're trying to get all the juice. We want all the juice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And it's actually funny. This is actually a, a fun little game. I mean, besides the little small, you know, things I've seen so far like the pop-ups and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't take too much effort. You don't have to really do too much, but you shoot planes and you're gonna get shot, but it, you got your defense going on. And, and not to mention, uh, Cosmic Dust and Rust is a tower defense game. It's kind of a, I guess it's a retro, retro tower defense game. If you want to check it out, you can check it out in the Steam Store. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description section if you want to go and check it out. It only costs, I think, 50 cents right now, so it's not an expensive game at the moment. 50 cents is 51% off, which means it was probably like uh, a dollar or so, something like that. Okay. Now... I guess I should have put a gun in the back because it looks like I'm going to have to be shooting this and I don't think my cannon's really that strong. I think it's actually really weak. That beam got destroyed in the front but I see the two RPGs they lasted and this is oh my god. I wish I had a different weapon. Oh my goodness. This is bananas, right, guys? When will this madness be over? There it goes. Finally, it's over. So that lets me know one thing, everybody. I need to upgrade that turret. That turret is seriously weak. That was weak sauce, man. Okay, we made it past the first planet. Let's go in here. We have us some rewards. So let's claim these rewards in here. That's going to help us purchase some stuff for the next planet so let's go back out of here let's go to internal internal bay we're gonna try to upgrade this main cannon because that was a tragedy so it cost 20 aluminum um okay i want these to generate okay i think that's fine okay we're out of aluminum again which is the main thing that we need in here we need aluminum so we're gonna go back and let's add some stuff to the ship. Oh, oh, we can actually upgrade now. Look at that. We have the SAM site level one, missile silo level one. But I think we probably should just add some more guns for now. Let's add something like, uh, let's add something like a beam in the back right here. And then we'll add some more RPGs here in the front. Uh, we can upgrade this right here. We got the prism beam and we got the tractor beam. Yeah, I like tractor beam. Let's try the tractor beam. That sounds about right. Okay, we still have some money left. We can still do some stuff here. Upgrade. We'll put the tractor beam in the back. Let's upgrade some of these. Oh no, we don't have enough money. All right, everybody, we're out of money. So I, let's try this. That seems like it would it would be pretty decent. So we're out of money. So we gotta go back and we gotta make some money we have a raider coming in small ship okay this is all right we have different ships now they kind of have a little boosters on the back of them now okay 
Okay, now that kind of adds a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, these guys are really aggressive. Okay, these guys are really more aggressive than the first level. Which is fine. We're still going to shoot it out with them. Oh, they took out my tractor beams. So, oh, get that, get that, get that, get it, get it. We need that. Yes. We need everything. Oh, we're going to need, definitely need upgrades. They have, they have brought the whole crew. Like, literally, when they yelled squad, this is what happened right here. Unlike Lil Wayne in the video I seen where he called for some backup and they didn't come. <laughs> but these guys called for backup and they have a whole crew of people. Okay, it says we have a transport MK2, which sounds like he's... Oh, wait. Also oh, projectile. I guess that was it. Oh, we have two ships coming now. Okay, I don't. I think we're not gonna pass this without more upgrades. We're really gonna need upgrades for this. Really probably to the the RPG would probably be the best. We'll try to take that ship out first. Oh, we got destroyed. Your ship got destroyed. All right, guys, that didn't work out. So we gotta go back to the drawing board. <laughs> they were. That was crazy. That was way different from the first planet. It was a lot more. It, that, that seemed a little more intense there. A little more intense there. So what do we need to do here? Okay, we got some aluminum back. We got some gener. Let's, let's up this here. Uh, I think we might want to up some hit points as well. Maybe. I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Let's put that towards the shield. Like that. Okay. And then let's go in here and see what we can do about these. Do we have enough to even really... I mean, should I add more guns or should I just upgrade the current guns? I think that's like the biggest question. I think what I'm going to do... Let's see, what do we have here? We have some shielding here. Um, what it would cost me to upgrade? That's a negative 3 at 15. Uh, we got the missile silo and we got the SAM site. We're going to go with that right there. Okay, we're going to upgrade these two front ones. And I think that's about it. I think that's all we can do currently. We're out of money. So, let's go try this again. Uh, see if we can make enough money to pass this and upgrade one more time. I mean, that it, we might pass it like this, but then we might need another upgrade. I mean, these guys are really a lot more aggressive now. So... Oh, I see my call. Oh, I like the RPGs now. Yeah. This is a nice little game in for, uh, for half a dollar. Two quarters. I mean, Jesus, not much of anything costs two quarters anymore that you can get fun out of, right? Okay. I mean, I look at it as one of those games where you just don't want to, you know... Call of Duty or Battlefield wanted running around, getting shot in the back, or you know, just something that doesn't involve you doing so much. I think these are the kind of games that really work for me the best. I mean, this is Sims. I mean, the Sims, Sims 4 is still something I play a lot. Sims 3 as well. I still play that. All right, we made it back to the two ships. Let's see if we can destroy these guys fast enough this time, or. I don't know if my guns are still active. Okay, they're, they're still active. Oh yeah, they're still active. Yes. I'm gonna try to destroy these and just let my guns finish off those. Try not to get my eyes off the fights. Oh, again, we were destroyed. Okay, I see where our damage is. See right there, we're taking more damage from back there. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna, we're gonna do some upgrades, man. Okay, I'm glad I noticed that. So we're going to do some upgrades on those parts right there. Okay, so that looked like it was more likely the HQ. And these right here. Okay, so we're going to uh, we're gonna put some hit points on that. Uh, we're going to put some hit points on the engine. We're going to bring that up as well. Okay, we're gonna get, okay. Now we're looking good. I think we're looking good now. Okay, we should be able to take a little more damage now. 
So it says we're missing something to be collected in here, so let's see. There it goes. Cool. Okay. Back out of here, and I think let's go in here and see if we can get any upgrades or anything in here. I really love these upgrades, but I'm not going to use the same thing. We're going to actually go with the Sam this time right here. Let's do the Sam. We'll try the Sam out, and then I want to try the lasers as well. So we'll pop some lasers in the back right here. And let's see if we can make it through this time. Here we go again. We know if we can make it past those two ships, I think that'll pretty much be it. Right now, this is proving to be a little... I mean, it's not as bad as when we first started playing this on the on the second planet. It seemed a little crazy. But now I think we're probably going to have a better, better control of it now. I think it's going to be way... Not way easier, but it might be a little easier now. Uh, with the difference in guns and things like that. As long as we keep collecting, we can keep getting stuff to upgrade. So, let's see how it works out. Okay, we took heavy damage to the front already. We've already lost our attractive beam in the front, so that really sucks. Let's see if I can help these guys and kind of clear this area up some. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, it's not the greatest, but. RPGs are damaged. Captain, status report. The ship can't take anymore. Oh, we're taking heavy hits. Oh, they're gunning us down on the sides. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gunned us down again. I think that was even worse than the one before that one. <laughs> I honestly, for some reason, feel like it really was. Like, it was really worse than the one before that one. Okay, we only have 41 right here, so... We will take... Let's see, what will we want here? We'll do another hit points on the engine. And then we'll do another hit point right here. And let's go in here. See how much money we have, okay. And what we're going to do here is... We're going to add some, hmm, let's add some beams right here, we'll add some beams, we're going to just going to go all out with some guns on here right now, we'll add some more RPGs right there, and uh, do we have enough to upgrade, uh, we have enough to upgrade one, so we'll go missile silo right there. And next time what we'll do is we'll bring in the shields next time and we'll put some we'll put the EMP and we'll probably put the shields right there. I'll put the guided is that guided missiles? Okay, we'll see. We'll see what works out next time. Because right now, oh my god. The first day just made me feel all cocky. It made me feel like, oh man, this is so easy. Like I know the rest of this game is gonna be so simple. Now I'm kinda like now I'm second guessing that really. I'm just in my mind telling myself, don't get frustrated, don't get frustrated. You know, I always say it in all my videos, you're not going to see me rage. You might, one day you might see me rage, you're not going to see me rage today. Not today. I used to be a big rager in video games. Oh, not a rage quitter though, but like, oh man. <laughs> Let's just say I had a couple controllers and things like that that could tell a couple stories to you, man. And they wouldn't be good stories. <laughs> I have a couple of keyboards and oh. I even have a desk or two that can tell you some really bad stories about, yeah, when I get real aggro on a game and just go in and something. But I, lately I've tried not to. I try to not let games get to me like that anymore. I leave that for the new, new gamers just coming in to go all crazy and stuff. All right, so far so good. I, th I think we're doing pretty good so far. Let's try to help and take these guns out. These guns are our main problem. I really need these guns out fast because they're proving to be the main thing that's destroying our ship on the side. Come on, guys. Yes, okay, now I'm gonna try to finish taking these guys out. 
so that way we won't take no front damage. That way we can stop the front damage and hopefully my guns can finish off these guys. Okay, we're gonna shoot the back of them so they can slow down. Okay, good. I think we finally made it, guys. I think this might be it. There we go, we stopped that guy. He was kinda moving. See, I gotta keep the front watch. They still got people coming in on us. It's like Independence Day right now. The movie. Oh, crap, come on. Okay, we got one down, one shit down. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, we're still not even there yet. Look at, look at the distance bar. We're still not there yet. We made it farther than we did last time. So I'm, I'm happy for that one. Guys, we made it way farther than we did last time. Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, we're not going to make it now. We have to fight these ships twice. We're going to need major upgrades for this. We made it past the first set. Oh. We made it past the first set. Didn't make it past that set. Oh, man. Oh, man. That I like that, though. I think our, our ship should probably be faster, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we should upgrade the speed of the ship, maybe? The speed of the ship? Let's upgrade the speed. Let's see if we can get it to go a little faster than what it's going uh, currently. We'll give some more hit points right there. Uh, we're going to go back and we're going to do some upgrades here. This is this is bananas, guys. Okay, I, can, we, I don't think we can upgrade those. Okay, we have some side stuff here. We have some swarm rockets right here, and we have some big torpedoes. Let's do the big torpedoes. We'll do big torpedoes on the side. Okay, that's pretty cool. What else do we have? We have the tractor beam, but I'm not really worried about the tractor beam right here because it seems like they're not even really getting, you know, once they get back here, they pretty much just cream us back there. So, um... We'll go up the prism beam right here. Kind of change that up some. What is this right here? The Gatling and the sniper. Oh, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I'm thinking sniper. But I'm thinking the Gat. We'll go with the Gatling. Let's do Gatling. We'll try that out. I Let's try this again. I think we might do much better this time. Let's try it out. We got some nice heavy upgrades now. See if that makes a difference right now. Especially when it comes to the enemy ships, when they come riding on the side of us. Whoa! Whoa, what is going on up there? Whoa. Okay, actually I forgot we're supposed to put on the shield this time in the EMP. Which I oh I forgot all about. Wow, this is just crazy. We already took heavy, heavy damage up in the front. So that gun's already out. And I think we should be to the ships now. The ships should be coming soon. Okay, so far so good. We still took some heavy damage on the side so far. We need those guns out of there. Now we need the ship stop. There we go. Okay, and I'll try to, I'll try to, okay, yes. Yes! Yes, please. I hope this helps. Okay, so my turret has the upgrade now on it. I know it goes away after a while, but it has it on it, so hopefully this should help us cut through most of these enemies right here. I took real heavy damage right there. We try to take these guns out. These guns are just the real main thing that needs to be gone first. 
if I can get rid of those, then the rest of my guns can pretty much handle the, deep, the rest of the defense. Now we need the ships to stop. Oh, we got destroyed again. Oh, it seems like there's no end to this, guys. Oh, man. I, oh, my goodness. That is just, that's crazy right there. Okay. Um, wow. All right. So, with that being done, let's add some more to the main cannon right there. We're going to add more to the main cannon and see if I can give it a little more a little more power to do some destroying here. Still can't upgrade that one. I don't think this gun in the front is really doing us any good anyway. It doesn't really seem like it's too helpful. Uh, let's add some shields there. We got the EMP and ion cannon. Get the ion cannon. EMP. Okay, we can't we can't upgrade those yet. Can't upgrade those. Can't upgrade those again. Okay, so nobody else can be upgraded again from here. Alright, so let's try this again. We got a little more hit power now on our turret as well, on our main turret. So hopefully that creates a little more, got some better damage right there. And it seems like it is. Uh, I wanted to take out that front gun right there because it always gets that tractor beam in the front just gets hammered every time. I mean, if, if that front gun lasts, then we know we're, we're doing something good because that front gun, that normally does not last. It normally gets hammered right in the beginning. Okay, the main thing here is you want to take out these guns. That's the main thing. These guns just rip me. That turret upgrade on the main turret, that seemed to help a lot. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. So I'm pretty much going to try to shoot them and slow them down so the rest of my guns can just take them out. There we go. It looks like when you get the red rocket, it's what it what it's what creates uh, the change in your main gun. Okay, let's not shoot for nothing. We have some heavy damage right here. Let's see if we can damage these guns real quick. Pretty much this take them out and annihilate them and from there continue the battle. Front gun is done. You see that right there? Those are my special weapons you have down at the bottom when you use it. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Alright, so far so good guys. I don't, I don't want to celebrate, so you're not going to hear me get too excited right now because I don't want to celebrate and then we, we fail horribly. So I'll celebrate when the mission is completely over. So I'm not going to get too excited right now. Right now, I feel like we're just kind of hanging. Yes, there we go. <laughs> now I can get excited. Yes, we did it. After numerous upgrades, we have finally made it through, man. That was really intense for me. I don't know if you ever played this game. If you ever played this game, let me know what you think about it. Um, that was crazy man that was real crazy i really like this game so far it's a cool little game only cost like i said about 51 cents or something like that uh 49 cents or something like that it's on sale right now it's though for 51 I mean, 51% off right now, so I think it's like 41 cent or something. I don't know. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys if you guys want to go and check this game out. Just have a little game to play, you know, in your little spare time. You just don't want to get on the PC and play those, you know, crazy Call of Duty camping moments or somebody standing behind the doorway to stab you in the back or something like that. So that's cool. And I hope everybody's excited for the next Call of Duty as well. Um, 
I am excited for the next Call of Duty that's coming out. I have not really been excited for none of the previous Call of Duties um, once the whole space thing kind of came along. But, you know, everybody has their own opinion of games. Everybody has their own feeling. Everybody, you know, play what they like. And that wasn't something for me. But this World War II thing, I'm really excited about. And I can't wait to see what Call of Duty has brung out this time. Hopefully it's a little better than Battlefield, but we'll see how it works out. So, Nerd 365, everybody remember thumbs up if you like my videos, thumbs down. If you don't, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.